<gasps> oh, I'm in luck. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no wait, that's not a red shouldered hawk. That's an osprey. Oh man, an osprey. Don't be camera shy now. Get used to the camera. I do hear a red shoulder hawk, but I just don't know where that hawk is. But man, I, I totally missed my, my opportunity. I totally, I blew it yet again. I just totally blew it. There we go, okay. Focus isn't really that great, okay. As long as this osprey's cool with me. Alright, um, so what am I gonna do? Oh yeah, there's something I forgot to do. I forgot my poncho and crap. Alright, so I'll be right back. I have to leave this camera right here. Just for a second. Okay, so I'll be right back. Yeah, seriously, I have to go get something.
to film it. It would just be a shame to try to get too close. The Osprey are very timid. I have to just accept that, okay? All right, so... <laughs> usually they pick a dead tree branch, usually. But I think this Osprey picked a live tree branch. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. There's the Osprey right here. Yeah, this one was a tricky one to find. But I finally found him. I know this is one of the male Osprey. It has to be. Okay, and let me just tilt this. I'm just going to tilt. Oh, mm 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 Hang up, hang up, hang up. Not working, not working. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Did I go down too far? I think I did, yeah. And where's the Osprey? Osprey can't be lower than that, is he? Oh, okay, there we go. And that's as far as my optical zoom will go. That is it. So there is no brown plumage at all on this Osprey. So this is definitely the male from the skate park. Yeah, so I've had some problems with this Osprey. Like, this Osprey is by far the most timid Osprey that I've ever seen. But he wasn't so timid when he was at the nest. But he's timid when he's with me now. Alright, so now we know which Osprey this is. Yeah, because both of the male and female from the skate park both have brown plumage on their chest, but this one doesn't. So this osprey is located next to this dead tree branch, which is near the bridge, which is also right above where I placed the fish at. And this osprey isn't even noticing that fish at all. Like I said, an inverse black hole. That's really all everything else is other than this lake to the osprey. A major disappointment, but can't even couldn't even throw a fish at an osprey, let alone use that fish there. Uh, so disappointing. Okay, so I have a story that I want to share. Okay, so go ahead and listen to this story here. So I made a big mistake in the stock market the other day. I started trading this stock called Skills. Okay, and this was after they had a secondary offering, which, as you know, a secondary offering is always bad for any stock. It's always going to cause the price to go down. But it's only going to go down near where the offering price is. So the offering price was set at $24 a share, and it hovered, like, around $23.50 and $24, so I figured... Well, since it's probably going to go up at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and set my order for $24. I bought 300 shares at $24. And what happens, it goes down to $23. And I thought to myself, okay, well, how about I buy at $23? I buy 600 more shares at $23. I did, and then... After it passed the $23 mark, it actually started to get lower. Yeah, it started to drop lower. There was a big sell-off. And it went down all the way to $19.95 a share. Man. And now I'm losing a ton of money. 900 shares worth. Which is like almost $20,000 worth of stock. Uh, actually, it is $20,000. So I'm losing a lot of money from that stock. And by the way, this Osprey has some head bobbing. So he's looking at something. He's probably not looking at my fish, that's for sure. Huh. Uh, well, I guess that's just the way it goes, you know. Osprey just wants to look at the water. That's all he wants to look at. He doesn't want to look at anything else. I mean, this Osprey would have gotten my fish if he was that hungry. Osprey don't normally scavenge. It's very rare they scavenge. So they're more like Cooper's Hawks. You know how Cooper's Hawks 
well, they don't eat fish, of course, but they eat other birds. But they don't scavenge. I've never heard of them scavenging on anything. But red-tailed hawks will scavenge. Red-shouldered hawks will scavenge. And I'm sure there's probably like a few other birds of prey that scavenge too, but those are like the most well-known ones. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying about the stock market. So, I'm, I have to strategize here. So I've started to make some extra money from the overtime at Amazon, and I really need the overtime more than ever before now. Like, I can't reject any overtime. Like, I have to check like every single day, every hour in the day to make sure the overtime doesn't get filled up. As far as I know, I've got two days off this week. I'm gonna enjoy my bird watching and just try not to think about the stock market because losing money is something that no one should have to stress about. I mean, not to say that, you know, you're gonna lose all your money so you have a reason to stress, but I know that stock is going to go back up. I know it is. So, uh, so I'll just wait it out and see what happens. They say that there's a warrant for 13 something a share with the stock. And they kind of made a mistake with the printing company or whatever. But anyways, it's just kind of confusing. But they, but they say it could hit 13 something a share before it goes up. And if it does, I'll be ready for it. Because I put $3,000 from a bank account into my brokerage account. So I should have 6000 in margin to use. No, no, what did you do? I was just coming back to my camera to film you. You bastard. Seriously. I left for five minutes. I left the camera alone for five minutes and then I walked all the way around the lake and now he's right there. Then he uses the bathroom right there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, does he have anything? No, he just flew there. No, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> that was just part of the light stand. Oh, man, I'm just so angry. I sit down. I, I did the same thing I did before. I was just walking a little bit more quickly. I was just... Why are they, they're so sensitive towards movement. I hate raptors sometimes. I really hate raptors. They're just, you know, because they're, they're hunters, you know. They, they're sensitive towards all movement. I just can't do anything. Can't do, I can't do anything right. I can't do anything. I can't just relax and enjoy those osprey. Grr, man! Ugh. All right. Ugh. Man! 
That osprey will let me get near him. I don't care. He flies off from that nest. Okay. Alright. I am now going to visit that osprey. Okay, so here is the osprey at the nest. I went ahead and proceeded to get closer. Okay. We're good right here, okay? Let's see if this works. The male osprey, there he is. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Quite good enough yet. Mm, mm, mm. Is that good? Maybe? No? Oh, mm mm. Nope, 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 nope. Mm mm. There we go. I think that ought to do it. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. There we go, okay. Whew, all right. Perfect, okay. All right, so I think I'll mess with these ibis a little bit. I didn't quite throw that far enough. Should have, I should have done like this. Ah, that didn't work either. Hmm. I'm not good at throwing things. I'm, I'm terrible at it. Don't hire me to be a pitcher <laughs> in baseball. Don't do it. <laughs> you'll, you'll be sorry. That was it. Three. Three is all I'm doing. I only need to do things in threes. So that's that's it. If the osprey or nah, if the ibis don't want it, then that's fine with me. Yes, I threw to it'll three pieces of raw steak. Might as well just use it up somehow, you know. I think these ibises are really stupid. They don't see raw steak on the grass. What do they see then? I don't know. But yeah, I didn't want to really get closer to that hawk anyways, or sorry, not that hawk, but this osprey anyways, because those ibises are too close. Uh, I want to try to get this lens cap on here because it is raining just a little bit. I just want to make sure. Sorry about that. I just had to put my lens hood on my camera way quick. I don't know if that's really going to protect it very much, but I figured I'd give it a shot. On a second, I gotta put this. Up. 
Sorry about that. Uh, I messed up. Okay, that's okay. You can still see the Osprey. The Osprey's good. The lens hood isn't like all the way on the camera, but I'm just trying to protect the lens, really. As long as I can do that, I'm good. I have a good idea. How about I use some of this caramel popcorn? I'm gonna throw some caramel popcorn for these for these ibises. I don't know if that's gonna work, but uh, the one of the ibises flew off. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The Ibis sees the popcorn. Oh wait, he sees the raw steak. There is a piece of popcorn that's literally, like, right there. What's the matter with these Ibis? Or did I say Osprey or Ibises? I thought I said Ibises. <laughs> yeah, now they're just hanging out the water. No! <gasps> he just projected the popcorn. The ibis rejected the caramel popcorn. Like, what the heck? They wouldn't know good food if it bit them on the head. Seriously. Don't they know what good food is? <laughs> I know, right? That does it. I'm putting out Skittles for them. Want some Skittles, Ibises? I'm going to put out a Skittle for these Ibises. Now, I'm not going to throw it, like, far. I'm just going to, like, do this. I right, threw one Skittle. Just one Skittle, and that's it. <laughs> one Skittle's good enough. Yeah, so... And I'm also filming this Osprey, too, on the light stand over here. And I'm also having fun with these Ibises, too. Anyways, I think I need to put, like, one little piece of popcorn out. Instead of, like, these little, like, uh... The bigger pieces. So let's try this again. Hi, this is. Not working. <laughs> yeah, I just can't seem to throw them far enough. And plus, I'm sitting down, which makes all the difference. But I'm pretty. I'm already. I already know these ibises aren't into the popcorn. Like, how many ibises are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A total of seven ibises. And certainly one of these seven ibises would have seen me throw the popcorn. And none of them went for it. So, what does that tell you? It tells me they just don't care. <laughs> That's what it tells me. Yeah, so there is the osprey, and uh, you already know what those are. The ibises. So I'm going to stop this recording, and I'm going to let the camera do all the work. This camera. Oh, 
the, the ibises flew off. Oh, it's because those ducks, the ducks were all flying off too. So they just seem to get the picture. Oh yeah, and by the way, there is also another another osprey over on that other light post too, but I don't want to try to like scare one of them off. So far I've had very bad luck with osprey lately. I don't know what's up with them. I really don't. <laughs> but I guess they're like this every year when the nesting season starts. Okay, so I think I filmed this osprey long enough. I'm gonna go see if I can film the other osprey. The osprey at nest number one. Yeah, so I'm gonna go film osprey at nest number one, and then we'll just go from there. Okay. And then I'll try to see if I can see the osprey at nest number three from a distance. And I'm hoping that this will work out. Okay, so let me zoom out here. Uh, I mean, I don't really care if this osprey flies off from me. I need to go to the other nest too. I can't just stay here and film this osprey. Gotta film a bunch of osprey. Which one is this, the male or female? This is probably the male osprey now I see him. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the male osprey. Someone I've always had problems with in the past. No, no, what are you doing? Flapping those wings. No, no, you don't want to do that. Oh, it's probably because of that other osprey. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, man. Oh, man, they were mating. Dang it. Oh, they probably wouldn't even came back if I, if I was there. Oh. The male switched spots. He was on the light post, but now he's in the nest. Trying to see. There was some other bird that was over there, but... Male osprey still? I think so. I think that's the male osprey I'm looking at still. Okay. Alright. That's fair enough. That Osprey is actually closing his eyes. I can barely believe it. Hang on, I just need to put this poncho over my camera again. Because... This... Sorry about that. Oh, it's, it's good, it's good. It's, the picture's good, okay. Oops.
Be right back. will let me get closer to him. You think it's possible? You think it can be done? So yeah, this is the male osprey. Yes, he's back. He did come back this year. Yes, he sure did. Him and the female. Although he hasn't been hanging out on that other light pole for some reason. He used to hang out on that light pole all the time on the left side of that field. Maybe he'll come back at some point. I can see that he has a full crop, so he's already eaten. So maybe, just maybe, he'll let me get close to him. I know one thing, the fish, the fish idea is out of the question for that hawk. Or I mean... That osprey, that fish hawk right there. I'm gonna leave this osprey alone. Okay, so I'm now at nest number three and you can see both osprey right here. I don't have much battery camera left, so I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to film these osprey. That's the one thing that's uncertain. I don't know who that is, but I'll find out. It's a 609 number. Is it Grandma? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of worried about phone calls at this point because I don't want to get into the reason. <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I really don't. It has nothing to do with my hawk watching. I just like to keep it relevant. That's all. Alright, yeah, so there is one of the osprey. I'm very lucky that I have some battery power left. I mean, I wonder how close they'll let me get. Should I take my chances? I promise I'm not going to touch the pole. I promise. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to sit on the sidewalk. No, stand on the sidewalk. Stand on the sidewalk, sit on the sidewalk. I'm going to sit on the edge of the sidewalk. Now I'm going to sit on the sidewalk because there could be mosquitoes around. So I forget what osprey that was. I think that was the male. I think so. There we go. stupid to get that close. But yeah, there is the osprey.
How about the female osprey? You think... You think the female osprey will let me get that close? I don't think it really matters, does it? And I don't like this rain. This is like... And I'm itching from all the gnats that were hitting me. Trying to keep the osprey centered on my screen. It's just so difficult because the osprey is almost right above me. <laughs> I love it. I totally love that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to try to get closer because I don't want to get bitten by mosquitoes and gnats, because nobody likes those. <laughs> Everything's good. <sighs> All right. There's no way I'll be able to see the female at this angle. That's pretty much impossible. I gotta fix the angling. Hang on a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't even want to bother trying to zoom in too far sides. It's starting to get dark at this point, so the focus is going to start crapping out. But that is a really great video right here. I love being able to get this close to an osprey. I mean, this is great.
The gnats are getting bad. Ooh. Gnats are getting bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I can't seem to tilt my camera any further. That gives you an idea of how close I am to the osprey. Oh, I gotta get out of here. The gnats are so bad. Oh, I'm itching, itching, itching. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. And I put lots of bug spray, lots of mosquito spray on me, and that didn't seem to help all that much. Okay, so see the male and then you see the female right there. You just can't see her because these metal things are in the way. But yeah, they're both doing good. Um, I would just like to fi figure out a name for these Osprey if possible. So if you know of what to name these Osprey, please let me know in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay. I'm out of here, and those osprey are going to stay right there and roost, and roost for the night. Oh, my camera. Oh, crap. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see ya. Take care, everybody. Until next time. All right. <sighs> Until next week, I'll see you later. One more thing. I can actually see the male osprey standing right on that light pole. Yes, he's still there. Oh, sorry about that. Unfortunately, because it's getting so dark, the focus is crapping out. But yeah, so there is the male osprey. You can see the male osprey standing right on that light stand right there, right where nest number one is. All right, so there you go. And until next time, I will see you later.